If you have 100 um, spy network on a nation, it gives you another minus 10 AE impact with that nation. Uh, France, Burgundy, let's go with France. So yeah, there's a lot of ways of getting your AE down with countries really fast in the early game. You just got to be aware of them, I guess. Oh, Constance. No, Constance. Why you do this to me? Why are you so aggressive? You suck. You suck, Constance. Is that like the only nation that can join, though? All right, now they're going to join the coalition. There's actually only a few countries that can, though. Um, if I even improve relations with these guys, I might be able to get them out of a potential coalition. Yep. So, Memmingen and the Italian nations, that's it. That's the only people that can join the coalition now, which is, who cares. Alright. It's chill for a few years now. Chilium Maximum. Montferrat's gonna pop out next. Rebels. Let's lower this in Corsica. Perfect. 40% annexation of uh, Sicily. Amazing. Let's get the extra 33 ship trade power uh, propagation. And once we get the money, we're also going to get the um, flagship. That's going to massively boost our trade income as well. We're getting 17 ducats from trade. Can we maximize this a little bit more? We can from here. I don't think there's much here, though. Two and three trade power, not much at all. Europa Universalis hey, IV Complete was just purchased for 25 euros. Thank oh, you. Oh. Thank you guys for using my code for getting the code, the bundle. Coalition Evitation. Yes, yes. Have you ever thought about making live streams and a video about World Conquest? Um, I might do a live stream about World Conquest if you guys want. Do you guys want me to do a World Conquest stream at one point? We can do one. They're boring as fuck though, so maybe I'll do it as a horde, which is a lot faster and easier. I guess. Not a bad idea. How do I deal with governing capacity as Muscovy? I'm already over governing capacity at Tech 6. I can't handle because I lose Strelsi. You're already over governing capacity. Give out the privileges that offer an extra 100 uh, governing capacity from each of these privileges. That's an extra 300 governing capacity. That should help you out a lot more. And also, if you have extra um, points here, um, reform points, you can increase your governing capacity from here. But I don't recommend you do it at the start. Finish your reforms first, because these are more important than uh, governing capacity, in my opinion. And just don't be overall afraid to be a little bit over the governing capacity. I'm always over the governing capacity. I don't give a shit. And most importantly, though, is you build the courthouses when you have admin tech 8 in every single province. That lowers your governing capacity by a lot. And then you upgrade these to town halls whenever you unlock them. That's the only things you can actually really do at the start. Questo è un strano milanese. Stramo milanese italiano, Verto. Certo. Thanks to Tan Ludi, I forgot about the state governing cap capacity totally. No worries, man. <laughs> Shinto Norway World Conquest. Mantra of PDX player. X is just a number. Yes, that is true. Very, very true. That's just PDX player in a nutshell. Alright. Gonna have to improve with these guys now. I don't know my name. Just purchased Europa Universalis IV Complete for I don't know 25 my name. euros. Damn. Oh. Sounds like a problem. Sounds dangerous, sir. Not knowing your name. Hmm. So this is finishing in 91. Oh, shit. That's 
Whoa, around the corner. Holy shit. What? Really? I cannot vassalize them until f 92. Did we just recently diplo I It feels like we diplo vassalized them like 100 years ago. Wow. It has not been 10 years. That is impressive. I really thought it's been more than 10 years. Huh. Surprising. No, Burgundy inheritance has not yet triggered. Charles is still in charge. 56 year old boyo. First time open Twitch in a year for this content. Sadly, I had to wait 30 minutes to send this message. Well, welcome to the stream, Bjorn. I, pr I apologize for the 30 minutes. I know it, it's a while before you can talk. Neutral Switzerland E4 run when? Um, Eventually, maybe. Sounds a little bit boring, to be honest. Maybe as a video, I can make it seem more interesting, though. But as a live stream, sounds really boring. Bering. The Bering Strait. All right, let's see. Next to the Bellin is Lollard, Heretics, then Paduan and Savoyard. Okay, perfect. So they're all in North Italy. No problemos there. Um, you boys, once we can attack you, it's going to be full annexation for Mantua. Fulos annexationis. Where are you from? I'm from Romania. One of the most frustrating things in U4 for me is when the enemy is locked to move to province... You move to kill them and then they still outrun you. That's because they have um, either some movement speed bonus or their general has more maneuver than your general. Or it depends on the province because the movement time between each province is different. So it's not like a set movement between all provinces. It depends on the province. So like if you go from Torino to uh, Savoy, it's like, let's say, five days. If you go from Torino to Saluzzo, it's nine days. You know, it depends on the province. How do you deal with anxiety and depression? Don't really have much of a way to deal with it, to be honest, man. I try to focus on work and I try to take it one day at a time. But it's really tough to deal with it, to be honest. Especially um, anxiety, it really... They kind of go hand in hand, to be honest. Like, because of um, anxiety, I get depressed. <laughs> and yeah. Anyway, don't want to talk about that. Let me watch all videos up to seven months old. Thank you, kind sir. Early game is not a problem anymore. Uh, waiting videos 15, 30 plus. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Bjorn. and I'm glad to hear that, bro. More videos 15, 30 plus coming. Don't worry. Hello, Hammer. Manta looks annoying. It is annoying. Let's see when we can attack him. In March. Okay. Almost there. A few more months. How do you eat melon? I eat melon like an animal. <laughs> you have not seen me eating melon on the stream, sir. I eat melon like I've never eaten melon before. I find dealing with my boss to be extremely emotionally draining, which is weird because I've uh, dealt with worse. I'm, it's just, I'm just tired of it. Might be a hidden reason for that. You might want to look into that, though. If you're not happy with your job, you should consider quitting and finding a better place. I, I, I'm not being mean or anything. I'm honestly saying this because, you know, the place where you work is extremely important. And if you're not happy there... You only have one life. Don't waste it in a place where you're not happy. You know what I mean? All right. We got this. Oh, wow. Separatist and pot of forced. Bastards. You bastardos. Come on. Alright. Drop these boys here. You come here. And you guys come here. Boom. March. We can attack Mantoa. Conquest. Oh, shit. They have trade power with me. Um. Gotta wait until April now. And now they're going to join a coalition. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it, I'm telling you. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. They didn't. You're a mistake, man. You should have joined the coalition. Whilst you still had a chance. Byzantine vassal? Not yet.
Did you ever catch a train in Japan and stream? I catch a train a lot because I only use trains to move around. But uh, I never streamed myself in a train, though. Discipline or morale is more important. Um, it depends on which part of the game. The early game, mid to late game is different. But uh, I would say overall discipline is always better because even though you have more morale, if I have higher discipline, I will grind your troops to death. And if I have... it, No, I'll, I'll tell you something else. It doesn't matter what your discipline and morale is. What matters is how you manage your troops and how much manpower you have. Because if you have more manpower... Or you have a better economy and you can get more mercs. You're going to win. Doesn't matter how much uh, morale or discipline the other guy has. But that being said, I, I'm a big fan of discipline. Would you give tours in Japan? Like if Chad came to visit? Yeah, of course. How long have you been in Japan? For four years. Are you sure about that? About what? About manpower? Yes, I think manpower is the most important thing. Whoever's got more manpower and more money to get more manpower via mercs wins. And of course, managing your troops properly, you know, not doing stupid fights like crossing river into a mountain fort and then expecting to fucking win. <laughs> I've seen those kind of situations, so I've been in those situations myself sometimes. Ludi as a tour guide. Well, this is a building. I don't know what this says. It's a building. <laughs> Pretty much. Moral discipline do not matter if you run out of fuel halfway to Kiev. Yeah. Not really, actually. Depends. Even if you run out of fuel, you can still win if you have good morale. Reality is that um, it's more complicated than that. We're going to fail this mission, but I cannot convert the culture of this to um, Lombard because it's a lot. It's not worth it. All right, one stability, nice. Um, we can go to no, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Parma separatists, let's kill. Kill them. Kill it. Kill it. All righty. Our next target might actually be Naples, because Naples is juicy, and if we take Neapolitan lands, not many people are gonna care about it. Iberian wedding happened. Isn't this the second time it happened? The fuck? <laughs> oh no, the first time Aragon PU'd um, Castile, and now Castile PU'd Aragon. Bruh. <laughs> Logistics matter. Amazon best military on earth confirmed. <laughs> true, true. I agree with that. It's a really good statement. A tank that not moving is because target practice true true that is true not denying that that is true indeed did they just dodge me <laughs> they literally just dodged me there bro Wow. Nasty boyos. Granada still alive. Yep. <laughs> Any plans on covering more late game content? Yes, I do have plans on covering more late game content. In fact, my Florence part two is already recorded also. Problem is, um, I need to make the time to do old edits and stuff. It takes a while. It really does. All right. Let's uh, get a spy network in Switzerland. And bring this guy back. We're gonna get. Oh my god, these guys are expensive now. Mm, I'm gonna have to actually get cheaper advisors. Also, this guy sucks. Let's try and get another one. Something a little bit better, please. Burgundy is big. Yep. It's a big job to do it. We love it. We love you for it. Thank you, Sayuts. I'm glad, I'm glad you think so, man. Uh, I'm glad you guys love me. Thank you. I love you guys also. I wouldn't be anywhere without all of you guys watching my videos. So I appreciate you watching the videos. I really do. What is the most cursed thing you've ever seen in EU4? I've seen a lot of cursed things. Like Saxe Lauenburg actually getting the Burgundian inheritance. And then inheriting all of the Netherlands and Burgundy. 
That is one of the most cursed things, Saxy Lauenberg. That was when I was playing as uh, Brandenburg, and then I had to fight a massive Saxy Lauenberg. <laughs> How did you end up in Japan? I um, I swam. I swam to Japan. <laughs> I can't remember if it was FedEx or UPS. Would have slapped Will back or kept your composure. Uh, I would have kept my composure. Thank you for the 100 BDs, Destroyer. I, I think Will should not have slapped Will Rock. Uh, Will Rock, Chris Rock. <laughs> Just to say that I enjoy content, keep up the good work. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for uh, enjoying my content, man. Thank you for watching it. And I will. I promise I will. Like, if there's something I will promise you guys, it's that I definitely will always try to improve the quality of my content. And uh, I'll always try to be as unique and, or and original as possible. That's the main goal and emphasis of my channel. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, let's uh, cancel one of the rivals. This way we get a little bit more prestige as well. Let's go back now. And we can finally annex Amantova. Boom! Not a single nation in a coalition against us, bro. Bro. All right. Nice. Let's go. Did you hear about hundreds of... No, I have not heard about that, uh, Zabinara. That's fucked up. You tried to talk less of topic stuff in order to ease the editing process. Yeah, I know what you mean. It, it's not going to make a massive difference. Editing still takes a long time. Because when you edit, you have to go through hours and hours of footage and trim down. And then after you trim it down, you got to make it nice and make sure it's interesting and zoom in and zoom out and add memes and a lot of stuff. So it's not easy. It seems easy, but it's not. All right, I'm also going to make a fort in Sasari. The reason I'm making the fort in Sasari is because this is a highlands, so it's not that easy to take. Plus, Sasari protects all four of the provinces in this state. It protects Cagliari, Arborea, and Corsica in case somebody tries to take that shit. So, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's first off develop this province. And also, it lowers the devastation in these provinces a lot faster. By having that fort in uh, Sasari. So it's the perfect fort location. Holy shit. 69 freaking devastation, bro. It ain't easy being cheesy. How's your trade situation? Uh, trade is pretty good. We're okay, trade-wise. 56%. Sorry, 65% of the trade is ours. 29 here. Actually, I should collect from here with, instead of uh, transferring from Tunis. We're going to see a drop first, and then we're going to see an increase. Or we see it increase directly if it managed. See, that's an extra three ducats from uh, just collecting in Venice. Instead of transferring from uh, Tunis to the main node. Frame by frame editing is an exhausting process. 20 hours for just uh, two or Yes, exactly, Cosmic. Yeah. The perfect amount of devastation. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, true. It's 69. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Hmm. Interesting number. Going to stay Catholic? Yes, I will stay Catholic. I'll also likely uh, become either... I'll become one of the Iberian cultures. I'll tag switch to one of the Iberian cultures eventually. For the um, for the um, holy orders. Hey, how are you doing, Emir? How are you doing today, man? I'd like to say thank you to you. I started playing E4 when you had like 15k subs and you taught me a lot of things. And because of that, my E4 experience is far better. Well, thank you for watching my videos, AD. And uh, thank you for sticking around with the channel for such a long time. 15k subs is a long time ago, so awesome. When privateering is better than protect trade, Ludi? It depends. Uh, my honest advice is just trial and error. So what I mean by this is see how much money you're getting from privateering and compare that with uh, protect trade. A lot of the times you can uh, get more money from privateering uh, a very rich trade node that you don't have um, much trade power in. So for example... Uh, you can privateer the English channel because it's a lot of money in the English channel, right? Um, and you don't have any trade power there. But you can get money from there by tri privateering into it. You know what I mean? 
Is tax dev ever meta? No, it's not. Spring has come. Some people say colonization is a waste of money. It's much better to conquer land as far as Asia in order to have all the trade in the east. Yeah, it, it is a little bit true. Same, I had some uh, gains from other creators, but I saw the most improvement from Ludi's uh, more broad guides. Exploiting tax dev is more meta. Yes, exploiting tax dev is the meta, actually. Speaking of, let me start exploiting because we're close to 1500. I start exploiting my tax dev around 1500 myself. And use the tax to uh, invest in buildings, and then that scales massively with um, with um, the production and the manpower after I uh, develop it. So also, cannot do this. Europa one. Universalis IV complete was just purchased for twenty five dollars. All right, let's go build as a building. Oh, we have these in every province now. Almost every province. Um, I guess we can build in the south as well. Wait, why is it so little here? Oh, shit. I didn't make these full states, bro. Forgot about that. Fuck. I was wondering why I'm not getting that much from it. Um, also... I'm going to do this. Boom. Take that. 5%. Clergy land rights. So we don't have any more issues with governing capacity. That means our advisors are cheaper as well. And now it also means we can lower the um, autonomy in these provinces. Remember, guys, whenever you integrate vassals or PUs, every province within those uh, vassals lands and PUs lands is going to have 60 autonomy. No matter what, they're going to start with 60 autonomy. So you have to develop those provinces. Sorry, you have to lower the autonomy in those provinces to get the most out of them. I'm going to rebuild the forts here as well. Sure. All right. There you go. I think we now have workshop in every single province. Yep. Your biggest challenge in the game so far? I don't think there's any challenge in E4. E4 is a very easy game. Lower property tax, raise sales tax, it just works. True. The loser of game win. That's not hard. I know some people saying that the loser is hard. It's actually a very easy nation. Out of the nations that um, are vassals of Muscovy at the start, the hardest is Rostov. But even Rostov is not as hard as the actual hardest nation, which is Sukhothai. Sukhothai is actually really fucking hard. Sukhothai, you start as a vassal of Ayutthaya and you have less than five years to break free independent. And in order to do that independence war, you have to fight Ayutthaya, their allies and the Ming and nobody's supporting your independence. So you have to 1v1 them. And within five years, there's an event that automatically integrates you. So it's game over within five years if you didn't do it. That is a fucking hard nation. Not fucking Belusero. Personally, I would rather have my colonists auto-colonizing uh, entire states than try to remember to keep uh, keeping your boys out. True. Do a video about this. I might do one. I might do one. But it's massively RNG. So. Sorry guys. Yeah. Wife was sleeping. Is it worth to dev gold mine above 10 diplo? I, I would say no. It, it, it makes it very high chance of. Um, actually collapsing the gold mine. I remember when Memel was square in the game. Yeah. I remember that too. I also remember when um, EO4 had a, a fort in every single province. That was massively cancerous. <laughs> I was a really bad man. Alright, so... Um, 
Yeah, we got to focus on our admin points. When can we do that? 97. One year. Remind me, guys. Remind me. Uh, Three ducats. How much is it for level three? Nine. Yeah, we can afford it. Screw it. We can afford it. We need the admin points badly, so... Not much to do. We can get a thousand ducats from selling crown loans. I don't need the money now. I'm okay with money. I can develop Albenga and I can get a bunch of money from that. So let's do that actually. 